Hey guys, Rooster Mkin here. Uh, so today I got the Pikachu vs. Bulbasaur Mega Construct set, uh, and I really do love these things. Um, so first up, let's uh, show the figures. Uh, the first one you build is Pikachu, and as you can see, unlike the other sets, the uh, battle effects are attached to the Pokémon, or in this case held by the Pokémon, rather than attached to the environment. Uh, he mostly shares engineering with Squirtle. As you can see, he has a uh, unique tail uh, design to do the lightning bolt, and he does not have the claw feet that all the other ones do. Uh, this is Angry Face Pikachu, as there is a Happy Face Pikachu available at the Pokeballs. Uh, I do not have that one yet, uh, but as soon as I do, I will be reviewing it. And uh, I'm going to assume the attack is Thunderbolt. It's not coming from the cheeks like it usually would, but uh, that's mostly due to the limitations of the medium. And you can move Pikachu's tail around if you want. And uh, of course the other Pokemon is Bulbasaur. Uh, who has the claw feet on his front feet, but not his hind feet, to allow for uh, his uh, design where he kind of leans up a bit. Uh, you can see the, he's got a vine whip going on. And uh, the bowl pieces are attached to uh, round studs, so you can actually move them around a bit if you want to, uh, or if you want to just move the vines. And the uh, the ball looks really, really good. I'm impressed with with this. That's really well done. Like, straight on, I wouldn't even be able to tell that it's just four pieces there. It looks like it's more. I love it. Uh, he's got the little spots that Bulbasaur is known for. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I just find him adorable. And uh, then we have the environment set, which in this case I am going to attach the Pokemon to the environment uh, because uh, it's kind of important on this set. <laughs> Alright, Bulbasaur, you go here. This is probably the most uh, integrated the environments in the Pokemon have been so far. Uh, outside of, like, Gyarados and uh, I'm assuming Charizard. So here we go. Uh, you have Pikachu standing on top of the tree, and Bulbasaur on the ground there. Uh, I actually think I have Bulbasaur attached wrong. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. Uh, but there you go. Uh, you get the nice little red studs as flowers at the base of the really, really well done tree. This tree is really uh, well done. Uh, <laughs> I just love how it comes together. Like, at, at, look, just looking at the pieces, you can see, okay, that's a trunk. How are the branches going to work with this? But no, once you put it together, it, it, I love, uh, the tree is, is really well done. We have a little smaller tree behind Bulbasaur here. And as always, we have the ability to uh, connect with other sets. And uh, yeah, I love these. Th these are great sets. I definitely think people should pick them up uh, if they're fans of Pokemon. Um, obviously, <laughs> I'm speaking because I like these sets. So obviously not everyone's going to have the same views, but I personally like them. And uh, it just looks really nice. Uh, turn Pikachu a bit there. Get his face visible. I say that and, and oops. And his uh, attack is actually hiding his face. <laughs> uh, things are just falling apart on me today. There we go. And we'll turn Bulbasaur so he's facing the camera too. There you have it. And the lightning bolt's still hiding his face. Oh well. There's not much I can do about that at this point. Uh, as you can see, I lowered the branch a bit. So the branches are movable. If you, you can have them wherever they want. Uh, and uh, yeah. 
this set just I think this is the most integrated the sets have been for the smaller ones and uh, I think it looks really nice and uh, I, I have enough sets I had to completely move where I originally had them to make a better design display uh, hopefully I'll uh, pick up something that I can display it on at some point better because right now it's kind of taking up the dining room table <laughs> Again, you get the nice little flower pieces here. Uh, unfortunately, they kind of barely show up on the camera, but you do get the nice roots here, which is a nice touch. I kind of think Lego should go into doing pieces like that. Um, the, they're actually the same mold, I believe, as the Machop head crest. So, uh, yeah, they're definitely utilizing the pieces to the best of the abilities of what they have. I, I think it's great. And uh, I've rambled on enough. Uh, so there will be a shorter review video of something else tomorrow, and then back to gameplay videos throughout the week. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye guys.